right, so check it out. I'm at my Audi dealership. You can see my, there's my R8. Happens to be a bunch of black Audis here. But uh, I'm over here because my sales guy said, you know what, we have an Audi e-tron. And I think I want to go test drive an Audi e-tron. Look, there goes Thomas. Hello. He's not, you're not even like my sales guy anymore. What are you now? <laughs> I'm the internet manager. The internet manager. Yeah. So can I take this uh, e-tron for, for yeah, a drive? Yeah, we're gonna take it out. Okay, now can you? what can you tell me about it? Looks good. Yeah. In person, looks good, it's of course. It's all electric, range is around 200 miles. Mm -hmm. um, this has the special uh, the wheels on it. Edition. Okay. That's the special edition. Very nice. Um, and the charging, is the charging station on both sides? I see yep. there's one here and there's one on no, that side. This isn't an actual charging station. Okay, so this that just, just says e-tron. Okay. So yeah, you push this little button and it opens the charging Boom, station. there it goes. Okay, and it has like accelerated charging. Yeah, there's or, certain um, charges that, there's certain chargers, the high chargers are, will give you 80% charge in 30 minutes. In 30 minutes? Yep. Okay. Cool. Is that what your charger here can do? Because I see at the dealership you guys have like uh, this one does a not. charger. This one okay. two new ones installed. One's in our delivery room and one's in our service base. Okay. That is the charger that does that. Is that. Okay. And then what can you tell me about like the outside of the car? It's electric but it still has a grill. Yep. So it's all electric. You can see the grill is a little bit different than the other Audis. They got yeah. some different uh, details. Yeah, it's them. mostly closed but I see there's a couple of things open. This what is that, like a camera and yep, stuff? Yeah, that's your front? camera. So this one's going to have, this is a Prestige, so you got your heads-up display, your driver's assistance. Oh, okay, this is the Prestige? Yep. Okay, so heads-up display. It looks, um... It's a little bit between like a Q5 and a Q7. Yeah, Q7. At, except lower here, I think it has an air suspension, right? It looks pretty sporty, man. I, I would say something like, uh, what's the uh, Porsche version of like your the sporty... The Cayenne. The Cayenne, yeah, it's kind of like that. Looks pretty cool. Um, doesn't have the little tiny camera mirrors because I don't think that's legal. It's in not legal in the U.S. yet. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Stage four autonomy. Yeah, very nice. Let's see. Let's uh, take a look inside here. It's roomy. Yeah. Um, not not as big as a Q8 on the inside, but still looks roomy. And um, does this have the like auto? Yep. Can I trigger that? Oh, there you go. Boom. Awesome. See, Lola would love that. Lots of space. It has the kind of close to what the uh, QA has back here. Yep. The space looks like to me. And the seats drop down. And I'm guessing there's probably something under here. Oh, a little bit of storage and a spare tire under there. Um, and then let's see. Probably press that to close it. Is there a, is there a front trunk? So there, there is, but there's not really any storage in there. Okay, is that for the, for the connectors and yep, everything? For your chargers and everything. Okay. All right, cool. Let's take a look at that. Okay. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad. So you can put this. There's this charger and another. Oh no, that's no, this, is the this is the charger and everything for it, right? And then you can get it hooked up to your house. Yep, through Amazon. Through Amazon, yep. okay. They'll Very come cool. Out, they'll come out and install it all. All right, you want to go for a drive? Yep, let's go. All right, cool. I'm gonna let you run the camera. Well, who's driving? You can drive. I can drive. Okay, yeah. you can run the camera. I know you're not super good at that. Basically, point it at me. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's see this. So you can see this is the Prestige model. There's all the things it comes with. So what does this? It has the Edition 1 package, cold weather package. Okay. And it's $89,190. Okay, all, so about 90 And all of these are pre-order, so they aren't going to be on the dealership sites for sale. People will have had to have placed an order for them. Okay. Here, let me do this. So this is what I usually do if I want to, like, look at myself. Okay. I could always do that. Yeah. Or you can always hold it like that. Okay, so let's get this started here. Get the air conditioning yep. going. So you go ahead and press the button there. Seat is moving up. And you can't really tell it. Yeah, it didn't, comes yeah. On. Yeah, I'm like, where's the engine coming on? But everything is on. Oh, 
You want to turn that down? There we go. You can see you got your uh, virtual cockpit in here. Right. Shows you like your range and, and power. Yeah, and that we didn't there. we didn't close the trunk good enough. Where is that trunk button? We have to actually get it here. Yeah, here let's get the trunk because obviously, obviously as you guys can see right there, the trunk is not closed enough. So let's see, there goes Thomas. No, that's the no, that's the the trunk, the front trunk. Huh? Oh, the front. The front, yeah, the front, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> let's see. Do you need to open it again? That's weird. Yeah. I don't know if this has the auto closing doors. Let me see. I'll ask him. Oh, we'll, we'll check it. There you go. And it's indicating the doors are open, so I'll bring this door in. Yeah. Let's see if it has the. Oh, yeah, it has the auto closing doors. That's cool. Yep. Yeah, so the door, like this one here, I'll show it again. Just click I didn't close it all the way. And there it goes. It just it just closed itself. That's Stop. pretty awesome, man. And this has the same screens as the Q8. Right. So it's all touch screen. What's, is this? Um, this is just a wood grain. Okay. And like, you know, you know, all different things here. Yeah. It has the same feel and everything like you would expect from an Audi on all the plastics and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. And it's got the uh, the map. 3D and then map. this has the 3D camera too. Oh, cool. Which is really cool if you go here to 3D. Yeah, this is like a lot like the Q8. Yeah. So you can actually have, let's turn around your camera, it's crazy. Yeah. Hold on, let me dot these. Let me actually dot this up a little bit. So, there we go. So this has spent a whole bunch of time making a lot of noise. Okay, so that's cool. And then here, so in, so you have the virtual cockpit. I'm guessing you could put all of the navigation and everything up here. Let me see, where is it? Okay. Okay, there you go. And then I notice over here, it tells you like where you're at with the power. So yeah, that's so an that added you, thing. Yeah, how much power are you using? And then when you, you have like a boost mode, so if you really nail it, mm -hmm. it'll go past 100%. Oh, wow, yeah. okay. All right, cool. Let's uh, here just uh, just point that towards me there. I'll get. Let me get everything situated here a little bit. Get my seat up. Let's see how much can I adjust this. Oh, okay. All right, cool. And um, so taking the park off is right there, right? And the weird thing is this doesn't even move. It's just this little. Yeah. Right so here. this is just an arm hand rest. Yep. Okay. Um, let me just check this out. It's got plenty of space storage. Storage, here. storage up here. I think there's storage here too. Look at that. There's a big here. Let me show you guys this. There's a big storage thing over here. Um, I would probably put my my burner in there. Just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep it PC. Okay. So let's see. So to go into reverse, I just push this back, or yeah, how does that work? Just pull it back. Pull that little piece back. See? Okay, so it looks like it went into drive. Yeah, oh, to, no, oh, I go forward go. to go yeah. into reverse. Yeah. Okay. And then your backup camera comes on. Okay, cool. That's interesting that it. Let me actually fix the cam the uh, mirrors here. Fix the mirrors for a sec. All right. That's interesting that you have to push it forward to go in reverse, but it's showing you everything right here. So push forward, it's for reverse. Let's back this up a little bit. This, why did this come out? This, this moved on its own. Because we're Is backing it up. Oh, it's drops. moving because we're backing up? Yeah, it drops oh. down to show you curve view when you back up. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I didn't realize that. That's cool. Right. Very quiet, man. You guys can see the back of my R8 right there. All right, so then come back to go into revert to drive. One of us doesn't have our seatbelt on here. Give me this. You can put your seatbelt on. Get seated. That's pretty cool. The fact that it's so quiet is tripping me out. <laughs> it is. It's trippy. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's go forward here. If anyone likes super quietness, that's gonna be, this is gonna be your thing. 
Now, does this have any fake car sounds that it makes or anything like that? No. Okay. Which way are we going here? We're you want to go, go left? Make a left? Okay. We'll go left. So with this, thankfully, there's no start stop, right? No. Okay. That's one good thing, man. I appreciate that. That's my least favorite thing in any car. <laughs> I don't know if you guys get a lot of complaints about that, but that's the one thing that I am not a fan of. All right, let's see. We got a clearing here. All right, let's see if this can step on it. Sounds like a. You hear that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it makes a humming sound. That's interesting. I like that. Let me just. Get a little cooler in here. So does the air conditioning shut off and on and off on its own or to try to save power? No, it, there is an eco mode, like if you start getting low on power you can put it in and then mm. it'll kind of cut down on the AC consumption. Yeah, yeah I like how this works like in the uh, in the Q8 you could just dial your dial that down. Yeah, yeah. It's cool, man. You can even touch the screen and move your map all yeah. around. So this, what do we have here? Like panoramic? Panoramic sunroof up here. Tinted. Oh, we can open it. That's all the way. Okay, there you go. Let the sun shine in. And of course, we're gonna close and you it. Know, you just, if you just, just click do it, it all one the way. Time. Yeah. And do the same thing with the roof. Yeah, it's it's trippy how quiet it is, but the power is there when and I like if you get over real quick and then nail it. Like you can see it's instant power. Wow. There's no lag. Yeah. You know, bam, you're going wow. 75. Yeah, you don't <laughs> but but also you don't even feel yeah. like how fast you're going. Nope. It's wow. effortless and it's the power is always there no matter yeah. how fast you're going. That's instant power. <clears throat> so if you really floor it it goes into what you're saying the boost. Yeah. Okay, and it looks like you probably have a couple of different driving modes in there. Yeah, yeah let's, uh, yeah, I think that's push good. It, we can, push can get, it, no clicks. Yeah, that's, okay. Yeah, man, it feels like I'm expecting an Audi to feel. Um, but it's weird for my brain to deal with the fact that I don't hear the power, but there is power. Yeah. That's kind of trippy for me, yeah. So what other technology do you guys have in here? Let's say, like, I'm guessing this is competing with Tesla, right? Yes. So, you know, can this drive on its own or anything like that? Well, uh -huh. you have your driver's assistance packages where mm -hmm. it'll keep you in the lane. Mm -hmm. um, it'll actually slow down, speed up in traffic. But mm -hmm. fully autonomous is not legal in the United States, so they okay. don't have the cars equipped with that, okay. with all of it yet. Yeah, because I think have, even Tesla have, has something yeah. you have to keep your hands close they to. They have the ability, right. but they have not put the whole packaging yeah. in Yeah, I don't know if I really want that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I see my car tr taking over and driving me someplace I don't want to go. <laughs> Straight to jail. Hank somebody, Strange. Somebody hacking your car and taking yeah. you and kidnapping you. Yeah, like in the movies. Yeah. But, uh, no, man, it, it's, it's, I don't know, it's kind of cool, kind of weird. I think this is probably the first electric car I've driven myself. I've driven, I've been in electric cars before, and even I've been in a, an autonomous car actually, okay. uh, one time at a show. But I really like just the if I want to get up and move, this gets up and moves. Yeah. You know, I really like that part of it. Um, let's see. We'll go we on the next one. Go down. Okay, go down we'll there and then turn. Turn around. We'll wait for yeah. the traffic. Kind of actually get on it. So this is the, um, so this has all the bells and whistles that you would get out of, um, that you would get out of any Audi. Yeah. yeah. So the, okay, let's go. Let's go here. Let's, let's hit this and see. And it's Quattro, right? Yep. All wheel drive. Yeah. Wow. Wow, man. That is amazing what this will do. <laughs> wow. And like you said, it's just so effortless. Yeah, you don't you don't even realize what you're doing or that is amazing. Very cool. So um 
So are these officially on sale now, or yep. is this a demo model? No, they're officially on sale. And okay. We're just getting our first ones in. Um, most of them are pre-ordered. Okay. So customers have ordered most of these, and, and they're right. just now arriving at the dealerships. Okay. So the big things that I think people will be worrying about with this, right, is one, number one for a lot of people, range anxiety. Mm -hmm. So what's, uh, you know, what's Audi doing to help folks out there that would have because it's battery powered, so obviously I can't just pull into any gas station and charge it up. Yeah, you'll have about just under 200 miles of range. Um, so most, they say 90% of people's commutes, mm -hmm. no one ever travels that much. Yeah. So if you're charging it at home or charging it at a station or something, mm -hmm. you'll never have to worry about range anxiety. Right. Yeah. Like Lola, Lola does not like going to a gas station to gas up. Yeah. By the way. <laughs> So, and then there will also be, like, there's systems in here where you can go into your screen and it'll show you wherever your route is, mm -hmm. where all your stops are that you can stop to charge. Mm -hmm. So you can plan it out very, very yeah. easily. Okay. And like I said, most of those chargers, like the high, high intensity chargers, will give you 80% charge in 30 minutes. 30 so minutes, just okay. Just if you stop and get a snack to eat or something, you can leave your car charging while you're doing yeah. that. And so if, you, if on you're on going on a long trip, you can you can plan your trip around yeah. that and stop off in certain places, which I've seen. I know Tesla has a network. Um, do you guys have a network? Are you using the same? No, Is it like we, a shared network with Tesla? We have a network as well. And okay. I forget how many hours you get for free when you when okay. you first get the car and then after that some stations are paid in terms of charging exactly. okay okay yeah. so I know some places are free for you to charge and then some things have a cost exactly yeah so then the other thing I would ask then is what about like warranties and stuff like that because I think a lot of people <coughs> with electric cars they're afraid that that battery is gonna go out and let's say they want to have this for 10 years, right? What do they do there? Well, the warranty on our car is still the four years 50, but mm -hmm. they actually made the warranty for the battery eight years 100,000 miles. Wow, that miles. power is just on yep. demand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the battery has the eight year 100,000 mile warranty. Eight years, so you okay. Don't have to worry about okay, that. that's good. Yeah. Yeah. See, I think it depends on the driver. So I know Lola is the kind of driver that she just goes from home to work. We live out in the country. Mm -hmm. So she probably does, I'm going to say about 80, 90 miles a day. See, this would be fine. It would be perfect. Yeah. Anyone that's not traveling over 200 miles a day, you're right. not going to ever have to worry about it because yeah. you can just charge it overnight. Yeah. Um, you know, I know I do those kind of crazy trips and if, if let's say we bought something like this, I would still have to do that trip just to show people what it is. Yep. You know, how bad is it if you go on a trip or how easy is it? Um, but I, I guess with the network. So now in that network, um, that's a subscription-based thing, nope. or okay. it's just called Electrify America, and then it shows mm -hmm. you where all the stations are. Okay. And, and like I said, with the I forget what the amount of charging hours that you get for free is in the mm -hmm. beginning, but mm -hmm. um, when you purchase the car, it will give you an account you can yeah. set up, and then yeah. your first however many hours is free. Right. Um, and there are there are places like there's destination chargers, okay. places that you could go to yep. where businesses have a destination. You can come there like a, you can go to a winery, do a wine tour while your car is charging okay. and that's free typically. Yep. Yeah, um, and they're in a lot of places like resorts and yeah. like businesses. They're they're getting yeah. more, you know, at the mall. You'll see them now, mm -hmm. and even at some apartment complexes. So yeah, they're they're gonna be. Audi has a plan mm -hmm. <coughs> with this Electrify America company, and they have plans yeah. to have them all over the place. Yeah, I think this is really cool, man. I think this is cool, especially for the first entry. I like the fact that it looks just like an Audi. Yeah. So I don't think most people would necessarily notice. I know some people want to be flashy. Yeah. I remember when Prius was the thing, and we live here, we're in Gainesville. I don't live here, but we're here in Gainesville. Remember Prius used yep. to be the thing for everyone to show off? Yep. And then uh, Teslas have come along. You see a lot of those now. But I don't necessarily um, have to show off that I'm saving the planet or anything well, like The nice that. thing about the Audi too is that you have a, the fit and finish of an Audi. Yeah. So it's a lot better quality yeah. than say a Tesla. Yeah, the same luxury, yep. the same comfort and everything, the same feel and all that's amazing. Am I going back into the yep. same spot? Yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty cool. I know there's gonna be some other Audis coming out, right? We've got the GT probably coming yep. out next. Maybe a smaller version, e-tron yep. coming out. Let me go um, up here. Now, where's the parking thing? I used to be able to just turn that on. Oh, right there. 
Yeah, so that... For your camera in there? Yeah, so let's see. Uh, sure I'm trying to go here. How close yeah. you are to the curb. Yeah. I don't want to run into the curb. There we go, yeah. So that's on. And then uh, park, I just press it to go yep. into park, I'm assuming. And then handbrake, boom, stop. Yeah, auxiliary okay. air conditioning. And then if you want to take that, yeah, I'll absolutely. show you like how to yeah. open the charger and plug it in. And yeah, everything. yeah. Let's go take a look at that. This is pretty cool. And then it's moving out to let me out here. <laughs> then you got your charger up here, so you just pick it up. Okay. And so if you come visit the Audi dealership, you can uh, plug it in plug for up. free. You just yeah. touch this button here. Yeah. Opens up. There you go. And then you just. And then does that lock in? Yep. Boom. And there it is. Then it starts charging. Yep. There you go. Very cool. That's uh, that's pretty awesome. Let me. I'm gonna thank Thomas for giving me that quick test drive. You're welcome. Thomas, you know what? I think Lolo would actually really love this, and and I like it myself. I would actually drive it. I mean, you know what I drive. Yeah. So yeah. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for like you know uh, R8 electric maybe. My my GM he he worked for Lamborghini <laughs> and all these places. He he came yeah. back when he drove this so excited about the cars. He thinks they're amazing. I think it's cool. So, yeah. I think it's really cool. I'll get a little spin around stuff so we can uh, cut in for you guys. Okay. But I really do think it's cool, man. Yeah. And uh, for the price, I know people are going to talk about the price being around 90, but to get something comparable from, um, Tesla. from Tesla you're gonna you're gonna spend um, over probably over that yeah like the Model X they're running around a hundred thousand so. yeah because this is all-wheel drive you got to remember that all-wheel drive and all the uh, the the features that are in here um, and then you have the extra thing with Audi that you can there's tons of Audi dealerships all over yeah. right yep. and you could come into an Audi, Audi dealership to get your car service so I dig it I, I'm, I've been looking at a bunch of different Audis, as you know. Yep. I really dig it. I would get something like this, and I think Lola would love this because she would no more, <laughs> no more gas stations. That's yeah. that's a really nice thing. You got to think about how much money you save a year yeah. in gas as well. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I was figuring probably save about 120, 150 dollars a month in gas. Just yeah. Driving this a thousand miles a, yeah. a month. We won't. I don't know if we're gonna let Lola see this video though. <laughs> well, I don't know. But I'm gonna I'm gonna end this here. Thanks to Thomas and Audi Gainesville. I don't know if you guys could see it anywhere there. It's probably somewhere up there. But thanks to Audi Gainesville for letting me do the ride. And uh, people can get in touch with you or anyone here. You can link them up with a sales guy. Yep, for sure. I'm okay. the internet manager, so I can help you. Or you can come in, and I can link you up with one of our sales people, and they can take you on a test drive and see what the car is about. Awesome. All right. Thank you. We're out. Peace. Let me just get some, uh, let me just roll around this for a second. So there's two of them right here. There you go. What does the key look like, Thomas? Same as the Q8 key. Yeah. There you go. So there's your key. Um, these are getting real kind of slim lately. They're getting a little slimmer. Much nicer. Yeah. Um, this one, I'm guessing this is the spare because it doesn't have e-tron on it. Does the the original one have e-tron or something they, like that on it? They don't say anything special oh, on them. Oh, okay. No. All right, there you go. Okay, so uh, 2019 model, right? Yep. 2019 e-tron. I like this color. What other colors do we have? Oh, they got a bunch of colors. They even have an orange color. So a bunch of grays, whites, blacks. Yeah. The green looks cool. The green. There's yeah. an orange, real cool orange color yeah. if you like something different. Yeah. The black one is a yep. cool one too and you can get all kinds of combinations of uh, interiors, Interior. yep. leather, and uh, rims and everything like that. Alright, we're out of here. Peace. <laughs> That's it.